hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is dami i'm a youtuber based in lagos nigeria in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to take your instagram photos from zero to 100 it's quick and easy you don't even have to be a pro to use this app but you would have to get the pro version of this application if you're in nigeria and you're able to use your card to pay for this application it's fantastic if not contact a friend maybe in the uk or in the us that would help you with itunes card this application is available on both android and apple the first thing you do is go to your app store and download the face app once you've downloaded the app, you open up the application and select whatever picture that you want to work on. To make it easy, you can just put the picture in your favorite folder and then it's easy to select from there. Next, you click impressions at the bottom of the screen and you see all the options that you have. If you click on any of this, it's going to transform the face. There are different effects, so you just have to keep clicking and then you select whichever one that suits your picture. I'm going to click on view so that you see how it works. Now this number is 1 to 4. If you click 1, the effect is going to be very mild and then if you click 4, like the higher the number, the more intense the effect is going to be. For me, I always use Kiss or Movie or Passion, but my favorite is Kiss. So I'm going to select Kiss. I'll put it on number 4 so that you can see what it looks like. But I'm just going to leave it on 2. Once I'm satisfied, I'm showing you guys the before and after. I'm just going to click Apply. The next thing is hairstyles. Once you click hairstyles, you have different options as well. You see volume, long, straight, wavy, different options. But because she's tying a head wrap, I, you can't really see the effect of this hairstyle. So I'm just going to insert another clip here to show you that. It's self-explanatory. Volume adds volume to the hair. Long makes it longer straight makes the hair straight you know like that so i just clicked volume and i put it on two i'm showing you the before and after and then i'm going to click on straight just so you see what it's like that's the straight effect i'm going to click on wavy there are two types of wavy there's wavy one and wavy two You can add more than one effect to a picture at a time. Tap on this icon on the left side of the screen and you're going to select what you want. It means that if you want your hair to have volume and be straight, you select volume and straight. When you're done, you click apply. Back to our picture, we've seen impressions, we've seen hairstyles. The next thing is sizes. When you click sizes, you will see all the options that you have. This is going to help you increase or decrease some of our features. If you want her nose to be smaller, to be bigger, if you want her lips bigger, you know, you can just do anything. Just adjust your picture however you like. If I click small nose, you see what that does when I put it on one and when I put it on four four makes it really small i'm just going to click on view so you can see how this works For this picture, I'm going to use the small nose, big lips and sharp chin options. I am going to select all three at once by clicking the icon on the left side of the screen and I'm going to select each of them but I'm going to leave them at one because I don't want them to be very intense. However you edit your picture is up to you. If you want it to be more intense then you can do number three, number four is totally up to you but I'm just going to leave mine on one. Next, I'll click makeup. Here, you can reapply your makeup. You can remove your makeup from the face if you want. Just download this application and explore all your options. I'll click on view so you see how this works.
you have to stay connected to the internet when you're using this application you can use your mobile data or you use the wi-fi just be connected while using this application it's very important I'm going to select makeup 3 which is one of my favorites I'm going to leave that on 2 I'm going to select blush and leave that on 1 and I'm also going to add gloss to her lips I'm going to select glossy and leave that on 2 and I'll click apply next I'll click on skin here you have options tan smooth freckles different options just explore what I like to do here is I like to tan her skin you can remove her eye bags if you want you can unwrinkle her face it's totally up to you but i my favorite one here is tan and i'll just leave that on one i'm also going to select glow just to add a little glow to her skin so you click the icon on the left select glowing select tan and click apply next is smiles i don't know if this one is necessary but if you want you can do this i'm just gonna click on a few so you see how this works i know a couple of people on instagram that actually charge you money to edit your pictures like this guys please like this video and share this video with your friend i'm not adjusting her smile so i'm just going to cancel that next is hair color here you can change our hair to different colors but it doesn't apply to this picture so we're just going to move to the next one which is age so here you can adjust her face you can make her have a baby face make her look older you just play around i use either young three or young two but young three is my go-to and I leave that on one next is gender I don't use this but if you want to play around I'll show you how to so you can select male one male two just play around next is glasses here you can select any type of glasses that you want i'm just gonna click on a few so that you see how that works next is face swap i've never used this before but it's self-explanatory you can just play around next is beards this is definitely for guys you can just select the type that suits your face next is reshape but i don't think this is necessary because what are we reshaping again after all this work so we'll just move to the next one which is filter here you have different options you can explore your options but i don't think it's necessary to filter your photos after all these edits but then just play around and pick whichever one suits your picture but i like to use this moco sometimes and just reduce it to like five so let me just try that with this picture next is retouch if you've seen my how to edit with facetune 2 video you already know what to do with this one but if you haven't seen that video please watch it it's amazing i'll leave the link in the description so you're basically going to use this to remove all the blemishes all our pimples and just you know anything that you don't want on her face you click apply when you're done next is adjustment here you can adjust your picture you can adjust the brightness the contrast the shadows highlights saturation temperature you know just 
drag it back and forth once you're satisfied you stop you can edit all pictures the same way you just edit according to what that particular picture you're editing needs you, it means that you don't necessarily have to click on all of these features if you feel like it's not necessary just keep to the next one you can just do your you can just do one or two things on this application and move i'm just clicking on all these things so that you guys can understand this app properly then when it's time for you to use yours just do whatever it is that suits you Next, you click crop to frame your picture nicely. Next is background. You can click on background and select whichever background that suits your picture. There are different options here. Just click, click, click and select whichever one that you like. As you can see the background is affecting some parts of the picture like her earrings and her turban so i'm just going to select this eraser tool and click on paint and just gently swipe that next is lens blur this blows out the background of the picture You can see that it's blurring out some parts of her turban and her earrings. So I'm just going to click on the razor tool on the top right. I'll click on paint. I'll zoom in and I'll just gently swipe. When you're done, you click apply. So I'm just showing you before and after. You can see how it has blurred out the background. Next is frames. There are different options. If you like to add frames to your picture, just pick any one that you like. Next is vignettes. This forms like a border at the edge of your photo. You can use this to mute distracting elements at the edge of your photo next is overlay and here you have different options you kind of like add them to your photo i'm just going to click on fuse so that you see what that does so this is all that i do on this app i'm just showing you guys the before and after so that you can see where we started and this is where we are now if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Turn on the bell notification so that you can get notified every time that I post a video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video.